Helsinki, the capital of Finland. It has a special mix of Scandinavian and Russian influences. The Finnish capital is located in the south of the country. And it is a real port city. Hi, I am Martijn and your guide in Helsinki. After watching these travel guides you know a lot about this city to get the most out of your trip. From this old fortress to of course the city center, this cathedral and design. I don't like to ask but please like, subscribe or leave a comment. That's the way YouTube works to grow and to make new videos for you in the future. The easiest way to travel from the airport to the city is by bus, train or taxi. The airport is located around 20 kilometers outside the city center and the cheapest way is by train. There is a service every 10 to 20 minutes and a single journey will set you back around 5 euros. And the train service runs from 4 a.m. in the morning till 1 a.m. in the night. A taxi ride will set you back 40 to 50 euros. And to make the story complete, I have to say that there is also an airport bus, the Finn Airbus, and a single journey costs around 7 euros. In a moment you know more about this cathedral and a park. But we start on an old military fortress. And to go there we take a boat from the market square. There's a service one to four times per hour depending on the season. The journey takes 50 minutes and you can buy your tickets at one of these machines for around three euros per person. It's also possible to buy a day card for eight euros. And there are several companies who offer a ride and on my way to the island I took this small company, less crowded and less touristic. Sumenlina is known as the fortress of Finland. This special man-made fortress was set up by some Swedes in the 1800s to prevent the Russians from gaining access to the Baltic. However, the Russians overpowered the Swedes. In 1918 it became Finnish and the site has been as original as it was back then. In this video I show you two big cathedrals in town and the first one is the whitewashed neoclassic style Helsinki Cathedral. It's really a landmark with the five green domes. It was built in the mid 19th century and named the Nikolaus Cathedral and that was an honor to the Russian Tsar Nicholas I. And he was also the Grand Duke of Finland. But after the independence of this country it became the Helsinki Cathedral. In a moment you know more about the other cathedral, a church and the beach. But first this main park in the city center. It's called Esplanadi and the locals call it Espa. Actually the park is a long street where you can sit, jog or picnic with all your friends. And in the summer there are some live performances on this stage. For example in July there are some jazz concerts. What is the best time to visit Helsinki? That's a good question and it depends on what you are looking for. If you like the longer days and the higher temperatures, just like me, visit the city between June and August. And for example, the spring and autumn are perfect for long walks. In the middle of the city, between all the hustle and bustle, there is a quiet and peaceful building. The Kampi Chapel, the Chapel of Silence. Inside you can meditate, but it's strictly forbidden to make pictures. In the city you can visit a really unique church, Tempe Liaukio, because the building is partly underground. The central dome is a circular skylight. The building was a result of a post-war design competition and opened in 1969. The second big cathedral I show you in this video illustrates Russia's centuries-long engagement with Finland. You will find the largest Orthodox cathedral in Western Europe in Helsinki. And it's called Uspensky. You already know the Espa Park in the city center, but there is another green spot in town. It's called the Sibelius Monument and Park. The park and monument was established in remembrance of Johann Julian Christian Sibelius. He was a celebrated Finnish composer. The memorial was designed by Ela Hiltunen and opened to the public in 1967. In a moment you know one of the best museums to visit, but first the Market Hall and Market Square. The Market Square is one of the most known markets in Europe next to the Baltic Sea. Over here you will find a lot of food, 
clothes, souvenirs and flowers. And you can also eat a local dish. And don't forget, don't feed the birds. Close to the market square you will find the market hall. It was opened in 1889 as the first permanent indoor market. Before that there were only open air markets. You can buy a lot of stuff over here from Monday till Saturday. Of course I did my homework before I went to Helsinki to find the best spots for this video for you. But today I found out something new which I didn't know before and that's this beautiful beach. We shared a little more time with you baby. This could be. I just walked out of the city center for 15 or 20 minutes and I found this spot. Yes, it's a perfect escape on a sunny day. I just wish I had a little more time with you, baby. Finland is well known for the great design of a lot of things and you can see and feel that over here in Helsinki. There is a design district and a design museum. Here you will find over 200 shops, workplaces, art galleries and everything in between. All the nights that end in And when you visit Helsinki, you have the opportunity to learn more about the history of the country in the National Museum of Finland. It represents the history from the Stone Age till now. And the entrance fee is around 14 euros. As the city grew in the early 20th century, Helsinki built whole new neighborhoods for its working class. Many of these have since been demolished and replaced, but several remain. Lovely painted timber houses in the Malila district. Please give a thumbs up, thank you so much when you like this video. And if you don't want to miss any other episode, just subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's totally free and it enriches your view on the whole world. Tot ziens, ciao, hasta luego.